Have you ever wanted to check the status of your Maso from anywhere in the world? Well now you can, with this. The Maso My Workshop Pro app for your mobile device and computer. It's supported on iPhones, iPads, Android phones and tablets. And as long as you have an internet connection, you can check the status of your machine, receive alarms and custom messages from your Maso CNC controller. The My Workshop Pro app shows you the progress of your project and the machine's status. Green for machining, orange for when the machine is idle, red for alarms, and grey for when the machine is offline. You'll receive notifications for any alarms as they happen, and Maso can send custom messages to the app using the new messaging G-code commands. You can even receive messages on your smartwatch. Looking at the screen, you can see the machine progress, the number of parts made, machining time, the current file being machined. There's even a reset parts counter button on the screen for when you're doing a production run and want to keep track of the overall progress. You can check the messages sent from Maso to the machine by pressing the message button and there's a notification bell icon that allows you to turn on the pop-up notifications even when the app is not active. Here's one now. Looks like I need to head back to the machine to change the tool. Connecting Maso. To set up My Workshop Pro, you must first connect your Maso to the internet via Wi-Fi. Enter your Wi-Fi SSID, then your password, and press connect and you're done. Maso connects to your local network first, and then My Workshop connection will follow soon after. If you want to use the fixed IP address, ensure you enter a valid IP address, subnet mask, and gateway address for your network. Maso will then connect to the network, and then to My Workshop. The app. You can download the app by visiting the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Once you have downloaded and installed it, you can log into the app using your My Workshop email address and password, the same one you use for downloading your Maso software. The first screen you'll see is the Devices page, which shows all of your Maso controllers in real time. The tabs along the top of the device allow you to separate out the machine by type. You can choose between all machines, idle machines, those that show alarm, those that are currently machining, or those that are offline. You can select the machine you want to view in more detail by tapping it and it will bring it up full screen. The bell button turns on and off notifications. And when turned on, you will receive notifications even when the app is not the current active one. You need to make sure that you enable permissions to allow the app to work. So if you're not getting the notifications, check your app permissions to ensure that notifications are allowed. When a message comes in, you can read it and action it as needed. You can open a message in the notification area by tapping on the message on screen and it will open the app and take you to the controller view. The messages button at the bottom of the screen shows your list of all messages from all of your machines and from here you can view and individually mark them as read. You can use the mark as read button to set all of your messages to read and use the clear all button to delete all messages. The envelope button takes you to a list of messages for the current controller only. The button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen takes you to the My Workshop account settings page. From here you can change the image for your account. You can change the password that you use for logging into My Workshop. And by clicking the logout button you can log out of the My Workshop Pro app. When you log into My Workshop, you will see in the dashboard home screen a list of all of your Maso controllers. It will show the status of each controller 
and works the same as we saw in the My Workshop Pro app. When turned on, notifications will appear in the PC notification area. So if you're not receiving notifications, please check your PC settings to ensure that notifications are enabled. From My Workshop, you can add custom image to your Masso by clicking on the settings icon, which will open the devices page. From here, you can click the device photo and upload a picture of your machine. This will then show in the machine view in My Workshop and in the My Workshop Pro app. New Masso G code. New message G code commands have been created that allow you to direct messages to exactly where you want to see them rather than going to all places at once. The standard MSGG code without parameters will send the messages to the Masso screen. MSG underscore S also sends messages to the Masso screen. MSG underscore W sends a message to the My Workshop dashboard and to the My Workshop Pro app, but not to the Masso screen. If you combine S and W into the same G code command, MSG underscore SW, then it sends to the Masso screen and My Workshop dashboard and My Workshop Pro app. So why would I want to have messages sent to different places? Imagine I have a production job. Depending on my role in the production team, I may want to see different messages. As the machinist, I may want to see custom messages on the Masso screen, such as reminding me to carry out actions like checking the stock placement on the table before starting, but I don't need to see that on my phone. But if I'm looking after multiple machines in the factory, then I may want to have messages sent to me. For example, five minutes before the end of machining, it can send me a message to advise that in five minutes time, I'll need to be ready to change stock for the next production run on a particular machine. This means I don't need to sit in front of the machine and I can use my time more efficiently. Of course, no matter who I am in the production team, I want to be alerted of any problems such as alarms or even when a manual tool change is needed and these are automatically sent to the Masso screen and my workshop pro so that necessary action can be taken and that's it so why not give the my workshop pro app a try and see what you can use it for with your Masso.